Hello, hello, can you hear me? Yes, hello, nice. can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. How are you doing, mate? Good, how are you? Comment ça uh, va? Ça, ça va bien, merci. Ça va, ça va. Yeah, I'm doing decent. I just, like, I had a terrible night, but because I've been awake for, like, uh, two hours and a half already, like, it's, it's, it's been going good. Like, I'm awake now. Oh, yeah. That's good. Yep. Why is it so complicated? Oh. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I shouldn't read chat. Yeah, they're doing the coaching. I don't no, read chat. Okay. I would just answer to that to co-host because uh, it's it also like it concerns some people. Well, it's so complicated to join the Discord because when I was creating the Discord, I was working with someone who was like uh, like whose job is to create Discord servers basically and make them grow and then sell them or just like give them back to the owner. And then I was like. Yeah. Uh, I want it as safe as possible because I want to build a company and I don't want to be able to get bought by any like um, competition or anything. And then he straight up uh, gave me like the highest level of security you can get on a Discord server. And maybe it's a bit overkill uh, these <laughs> days. So I will find a way so you just have like, like a little captcha or anything. Like I will fix it for sure. Um, no worries. Yeah, have a good coaching. Thank you. Uh, so, okay, now the coaching will start. So, we stop looking at chat. So, how do I call you? Do I call you Corleone, GL, GL Corleone, something else? You can just call me Jackie. This is my name. Jackie? Okay, that yeah. works. Let me write that down just in case. I forget about it. Uh, how do you write it? G A C K J A C K I E. I E. Okay. Um, like Jackie Love. Let's yes. Go. Uh, okay, so Jackie, uh, let's see. So we're gonna do nice. live coaching, right? Yep. Okay, nice. Uh, you're in NA, if I'm not mistaken. So is it late for you? It should be very late, no? Yes, one thirty. Oh, okay. So I will try not to make it last too long. Uh, we, we're no gonna worries. get efficient. Um, okay, so I mean, you can you can start sharing your screen, looking for a game, and then we're gonna do a bit of talking until we we find one. Uh, by the way, I just yes. need to wait to let you know, uh, just seeing, can you move your mouse, see if it works? Oh yeah, it, okay, it's working really well. Um, yesterday yeah. and the day before, I had like a lot of internet issues. Uh, yeah. Now it seems to be working for two hours and a half, like I haven't had any issue. The only thing is that uh, someone will come today to fix the internet and it might be uh, at uh, between 11 and 12, so in an hour and a half. So the game would be over, okay. which is good, but I might have to like just leave for five minutes at some point to open the door for the guy and then, um, and then yeah, let him do his thing. Uh, so yeah, yeah no I, I just wanted you to know, and and that's it. Um, okay, uh, yeah, you can start looking for games. So let me know. Uh, do you have any objective with this coaching? Is there anything you want to work on? Do you have like a particular like rank you want to reach? Like any, anything, any goal like? Or just yeah, get like I just would like to improve. Like I feel like sometimes I get a big lead, and I'm I'm not too good at uh, carrying or maintaining that lead or finishing the game. Mm -hmm. Sometimes like laning, like I don't know what to do like super early, like level one, two, all that stuff. So those are probably some things I would like to get more than because my highest I ever hit was plat three. So obviously I would like to get higher than that okay 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 well of course yes it's gonna come with knowledge you fix the flaws in the gameplay then the lp will come for sure um yeah okay okay so it's maybe like first few levels and then and then mid to late game like being able to snowball a lead and and end the game from it uh yeah okay well that's a good thing because it's something that most people like struggle with at some point and when you think about it it's, it's pretty logical it's because we all practice early games, every single game, mm -hmm. but we don't practice mid to late game every single game. So once you've played like a thousand League of Legends games, you have a thousand early yeah. games, but then you have like maybe 700, 800 mid games, and then you have maybe 300 late games. So of course you're not as yeah. good in those. Um, but, uh, but I will give you a few tips and we'll see like how it translates because we can have like different reasons um, not to be performing in these uh, states. Okay, how long have you been playing Trindamir? Um, pretty long time because I don't really remember. Because my brother showed me this game and he he just played Trindamir. I just I just played Trindamir, copy him. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, 
Big it's Brother then, thing. right? Yeah, Big Brother. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, so what season was it then? Four. When I first started, but I don't know if I played... I don't think I played Trinomir back then. Maybe five? Maybe okay. Five, six. So you're an old-timer. So yeah. you probably know Boxer Pete, JC. Yes. <laughs> these guys. Um... So I, I saw that you have like some mid games also like you're not playing it on the top right? Yeah, I actually play to uh, mid. I prefer like I've been doing like stride breaker build, if, mm -hmm. like ranger. Mm -hmm. I learned from ranger, so that's just it's been working this these past games. Okay, so okay, I'll okay. Stick with that. So um, I I actually believe that Trinomir mid is better than Trinomir top. I actually have a better yeah. win rate on Trinomir mid, and every Trinomir does. Um, do you understand why it's better? What makes Trinomir mid so good? Is it because, like, the top laners get so tanky? And, I don't know, like, you can roam more? More mm -hmm. impact? Yeah, I mean, that's basically it. So, Trinomir, like, mid lane, he has very few bad matchups. Most of the time, mm -hmm. you can just dash in on CD and get a few autos, and you're just gonna out sustain and and where you, you win win your matchup. Also, Tuner yeah. can do some uh, cheeses very easily. Like you just crash in two waves, and then you solo kill the jungler at 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 uh, at um, Raptors or something like that. I'm sure you've done it already in the past, uh, or maybe not. And maybe you should start doing it. Um, and also, of course, because uh, with either Hydra or Straight Breaker. Once you have like the Iron Spike Whip, you can just instant clear mm -hmm. wave and then rotate super fast on the map, get dives really easily because of your ult, of course. And yeah, yeah it just, it's just a really good, a really strong pick overall. Um, so what I will be expecting, be expecting you to do is of course like abuse those aspects of Trindomir, abuse the sustain, abuse the probably wave clear into, into rotations, and we will see mm -hmm. how it goes. Okay, by the way, once everyone would have picked, I would like you, of course, to do your runes. And then if you can yeah. do what they call like the thinking, just tell me regarding the champions that have been picked, whatever you can think of regarding the game. I think these ones are usually standard, like the, the yellow one, mm -hmm. these four. I would say I'm against Velkaz, right? So I would take the MR. And... I think these are good because like they got a lot of CC, and I just take this one more sustained. Okay, and now that we get in loading screen, what can you tell me about the comps and the matchups and the game in general? Um, they have a pretty squishy team. Um, uh, we do too. They have, I think, like these. I can these guys I can burst down pretty decently. Maybe Volley Bear will be pretty tanky, but that's what I think. Uh yeah, I don't know. Do you have any suggestions or tips? Oh I have a ton. Uh I will help you a bit. We have Shivana with Dark Harvest, so most it's most likely yeah. AP Shivana. So AP Shivana is uh -huh. really weak and early and she's looking to scale up, get level six, and then she's gonna uh like scale really hard. When Volibear has yeah. decent scaling, but he also has some gang pressure because of his stun and his move a speed buff, etc. So we should mm -hmm. be a bit more careful than Volibear and not expect too much from Shivana early on. Uh Jinx time is uh really hard scaling as well, so now we already have like two like scaling opportunities uh so then i would yeah. be looking at the rest of the team or their team and then i see that action is it has really good scaling because of his passive but then we can maybe shut him down later because has decent scaling but yeah if you can get a flank on these guys as you said you can shut them down um yeah this kind of, of, of information you know then top matchup it's ignite versus tp so maybe action will have the yeah. prior early but maybe atrix can do really well into him later it's gonna depend it's gonna be a skill matchup uh, but maybe if we yeah. can manage to put Atrox ahead, like he's gonna do much about it. Same for bot lane, actually. If you are Jinx, that means fed, like the game should be over. And yeah, yeah. that's kind of information. Also, the fact that they have a Morgana, so level one. Okay, maybe. Oh, I think, I think she shouldn't have shown. 
because this could have been an Ami Boba. Uh, by the way, I'm gonna just suggest something that I'm seeing already. Yeah. Uh, what do you think about taking your uh, I don't know how it's called like the info at the bottom of your screen and making it smaller? Does it need to be that big? No. That... Oh, this the the yeah. Is the oh no, yeah it doesn't. Maybe maybe yeah, it could be a good tip for like the HUD. Oh, maybe. maybe put it in. It's the first one. And actually, I think you can put it on zero, no? Like, try it, maybe. Oh, damn. Yes, you see how much space you just yeah. gained? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, I already taught you something. I'm happy. I'm a good coach. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will let you That's focus awesome. on the game. Uh, if you can try to um, think out loud and tell me why you're doing what you're doing, I would be happy to hear that. Sure, I think I'm going to E on him. Oh, I missed. I don't know if I should have done that. I mean, the wave is good. I think it's decent. I wouldn't. Wave. But... <laughs> the wave is good, so it's fine. Mm. So you think I should like keep a freeze here? What do you think? I would say yes. I would say yes as well. And remember what we saw in Champ Select? It's because we talked about how Volibear is like more dangerous than, than Shivana, so we don't really want to be like pushing in. Plus you have boots so you can yeah. her, run her down. But I think you should try to thin the wave a bit, right? Yeah. Do you have any idea for Volibear is? Um, maybe near his uh, top side. Honestly, I'm not too sure. I think top side. Okay, he's... Yeah, I think I can't do nothing. I would just back here, just get Zerkers. Oh, he has two kills, I hadn't... Oh, he killed me, I forgot. Okay, how did you know that Volibar was topside, by the way? What well, did you think I, I he was think top? he started blue, or uh, he started this one. Okay. And um, he just naturally pathed there. That was okay. my thought process. Uh, so what's your plan now? What are you playing for? Honestly, I'm not really sure. Like these are like spaces where I, I don't know what what to do. Like maybe get a roam bot. Okay. Or just chill out here for a little bit. Oh, I could have should have eat on him. I think. Oh, that was close. Oh, that was bad. Oh, he flashed on me. Hey, okay, nice. Not panicking here. 
Um, Flash, you know. I think I can go for a kill on him. An enemy has been slain. I think I'm gonna shove this lane. And then? And maybe roam bot. Okay. Oh, Valkaz. Actually, I think I'll just get plating. Okay, what now? Mm. He's gonna back. I, th I think I'm gonna roam here. I don't really know if they needed me. back okay good job Okay, what's your plan for the few next waves, your next minutes? What do you plan on doing? Um, let's see. There's no Drake. Um, I want to maybe invade Volibear, except I don't really know where he is. I think I could roam bot again. Okay, I mean, I, I usually like don't intervene too much, but you said there's no Drake. There's something. Yeah. Oh, Rift. Yeah. Yes, Rift is an objective that is on the map. I don't know if we win this, I don't have ult. No, I don't have ult. I think I can dive him when I have ult. Go for a dive. Hmm? Well, if and you I see... And I think, like... Yeah. Usually when you dive, you try to slow push a wave. I mean, the issue is, if you slow push, by the time you slow push, what would happen? The volley bear will be back. Exactly. So you had a window, maybe. Um. Yeah. No, you just need to be... I think I should have went in like when he wasted his stun and all this stuff. Hmm? But now, no. Okay, so what are you playing for now? I'm play for the Drake in 30 seconds. I'm take a... Actually... I'm gonna shove this wave. Sir. I'm gonna shove this wave then back. And then play for the... Drake. No more berries? Did you know before I ask you? No. <laughs> to be honest, no. Okay. 
That's something I gotta work on too, like the map awareness. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you value Drake here more than Harold, right? That's what you want to play for. Yeah. So how how do you how do you play for it? How are you gonna get uh, Drake to your team? Um. Try to shove this wave in, and then maybe shove the wave in, and then. Help while Velkaz is clearing. Help. Oh. I go down there. Okay. He just went to rift. Okay, so we got the rift. He just barrier only. Okay. Just shove this wave in and back. And by what? By the stride breaker. And these. Which Let's I go. have Inquired. a bad habit of not building. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> I got an OPGG review by Ranger, and then someone said in chat, "Bro, this guy doesn't buy Pink Ward," and he looked for <laughs> Pink Ward in my in my history. He went through twenty five games before he found the Pink Ward. <laughs> oh no! And then I started beating them. <laughs> yeah, that's something I gotta do. Oh no, this is not good. Oh, I turned around. Oh. Scared of getting dove. Mm hmm. Oh. Uh. I missed the eye on the thing too. That's not good. Okay, what do you want to play for next? I think I should split bot now. I'm not Boy. too sure if it's like post laning phase or post 14 minutes i think like the maybe the bot and the mid swap i go top actually Hey, that was just... Oh no. Yeah, I just disengage. So everyone is top, not everybody, but Jin and Vali.
So do you think it's better for you to be top and Aatrox mid or for Aatrox to be top and you mid? Um, I think... I don't think this guy can catch me. Hmm? Actually, yeah, I think. No, I think I should have been top. That's my thinking, but I'm not too sure. Because. But as long as you give me a reason for it, I'm happy. Because I usually like to split on the opposite end of the, the next coming objective, and it was Drake. That's why. That was okay. my thought process. And he's pinging me help, so I don't know, like, usually I wouldn't come, because I don't fight too much on trend, like, team fight. I usually just split. I think if you had ulti, know. it would be fine to go there, because you don't, yeah. and it's better to apply pressure and bring someone. That's how I would think about it. Now I'll go, I, I would have went like straight into mid. Straight to mid? So once you, you have, I mean, I'll explain it uh, later. Oh, okay. Well, on me. That was not good. Yeah, this is still like, this is the good. Like, this is what you want to do, right? You brought two top. Yeah. You, you, you give. Okay, well, they're not supposed to flip it, but you, you give Drake to your team. That's perfect. That's what you want to do as a junior Like Without ults, you, you cannot do much more than that. Just like not die, yeah. of course. But like you, we shouldn't like expect Velkos to be um, coming top. Uh, but yeah, I will talk like more in depth about it after the game for sure. Yeah. Okay, so where to now and why? I also wasted Ghost. I think I would go bot now. Okay. Because this is up. Okay. But they're all bot, so I don't know. But I think they were they were back soon. Sir. Yeah, that's a good thing. Like I like I've been doing like I my coaching number six or seven, and I often see people saying like their team being bot, and then they're like, "Well, I cannot go bot because they're there." But by the time you get yeah. there, they're most likely gonna base. So plus they need to yeah. base. They just got a ton of gold, and maybe you should even ping them back. I think you should ping them back. Jinx got multiple kills. Uh -oh. She didn't spend her gold. Now you can still have that. Oh yeah, and 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 it gives us Herald. That's perfect. No way. I didn't e. I would argue that this is still very good. I mean, uh, not very, but <laughs> this is still good. It's more good than bad. That's okay then. And that's what you were playing for, right? So now what are we playing yeah. for? Yeah. Now Baron is in 30 seconds, so I think I'll go bot again. Okay. Have you considered Demolish on Trindamir? Even mid? I've never, I've never, I've never used it. Oh really? Good? And yeah. Trinamir has been uh Trinamir. Ventra has been doing it even in mid lane. I do it like oh, un yeah? like unless unless I need both Unfitching and Revitalize to survive my matchup, I will do it like hundred percent of my games. Oh. And because you have like a very like split pushy playstyle, I think it could be yeah. interesting. What about Holebreaker? Oh bro, I I I, I love Holebreaker man. Oh, you like it? I, I have to force myself not to go for it when it's not a Holebreaker <laughs> angle. Because I love it. I did an Unring to Master series when I played Holebreaker every single game. Oh. It was pretty fun. Maybe I'll try that. And again, like it's it's all about like you should never default to something. It's like what does it give me? If if it allows you to do things that you won't be able to do without Holebreaker, then you should go for it. Here you're facing action, and I think it's better like to have this is bad. kill pressure. I think I... Oh, no. 
Okay, really nice. Okay, I mean, I would argue that it, it was good that you still was able to ping Baron while you're running, yeah. because that's a good call, <laughs> and your team should get Baron here. And they were a bit yeah. slow, but they might still get it. So, bro, it's good death. The boss plays daily. Yeah, I'm kind of feeding, though, but it's okay if the team wins. Doesn't matter. Like, you gave 300, your team got 1,500. It's five yeah. times. So, five out. times better. Yeah. But I don't. Oh, that's a bad fight, though. I guess it's not. I think we won that fight. Okay, what's the next objective? I guess it'd be Drake. How long? 50 seconds. Oh, that's pretty long. I should have. I'm gonna just push mid. Yes, sir. We have a Baron. Oh, and a Rift. I forgot about that. Got a 20 minute Baron. That's pretty big. Ah, that was a bad rift. So I, I think know. we just win a 5v5, honestly, so I could just help for this Drake. Mm -hmm. If they even go for it. Wait. Oh, this is bad as hell. I never realized how short is straight breaker's cooldown. It's super short. The fuck? Yeah, because it scales off your ability haste. Mm. I'm just going his jungle after this. Yeah, the all of his camps are up. Uh oh. Not good. So usually I build Phantom Dancer or Serelda's Grudge next. What do you think is better here? Uh, I think... PD or Serelda? Oh, okay. Tr 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 yeah, try to think about it. Who you're hitting? Do you need the, the slow? Are you hitting multiple auto attacks? Are you going to stack your PD? Do you need the extra movement speed? Do you need armor pen? Do they have armor? Think about it. They don't have much armor. Hmm. This. Zonias, uh, look at Volibear, look at the Tabais on action. Mm. Yeah, so probably Grudge. And Zonias coming also on, on, on Velkoz. So just a, a little info, even if, yeah. if, if uh, players don't build armor, armor pen will always be better than lethality after like level 11 or something. Like... Like, they messed oh. up Lethality. Uh, supposedly, Lethality is good into no armor, and armor pen is good yeah. into, into armor. But it doesn't work this way, because people have, like, so much... Like, look at your uh, armor right now. How much armor do you, do you have? Yeah, you already 85. have 85, naturally. So, it's better to have, like, percent armor pen than have, like, 15 Lethality or something. Or no armor pen at all. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Okay. Armor pen is always good. Even into full squishes. So, what's the next objective? Baron. How long? 130. Okay. So, how do we play for it? Just continue shoving bot. I would say. Mm -hmm. 
Who's gonna match you? Who do you think is gonna match you? I think Akshan. Right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't even ult. <laughs> Asking the right question. Oh, it's good that you don't ult. Oh, it's really? Good. Yeah, it's good that you don't ult because the, if you ulted here, well, for Nash, on Nash Timer, you wouldn't have ults and you wouldn't be able to apply mm. the pressure that you could apply. Like, it was good, like, not to ghost actually earlier. Um, yeah. When you face okay. uh, Volibear. It's good to keep your uh, big cooldowns for the thing that actually matters. Right. Makes sense. Um, and he okay. Is a lot of damage I expect. So now Nash is in 46. How do you help for this Nash? I'll just go back bot again. Because I think, like, if Akshan matches me, that's worth. Because he's he's more impactful than me in a fight, I think. But they're all here. But also, I have ult. Maybe I should play around mid. Oh, they just win. Can we just end? Do you think you can? Mm. I think we could, but I think Safer is just barren. I'll just help hey. her, I guess. She started it. Well, okay, I'm happy that you, you don't always have the right ID, but at least like your IDs like are fluid, you know, they evolve over time. And that's a good yeah. thing, but of course, a better thing would have, would be like to be able like to anticipate what's gonna happen, have the good idea from the start, and of course, on the right. review, I'm gonna help you with that. Okay, what now? I'm just gonna back get Serelda's grudge, and I'll just shove top when Drake is up. Soul. Maybe I should have helped because just to secure soul, but like we have supers and I have barons, so I think it can put tons of pressure. And they also have no mm. TP. Yeah. The issue is like you're applying the pressure too late. Look at them. They don't know that you're yeah. on top yet. Actually, when you're going to show, enemy team is going to be confident because they know they have a 5v4 playing. And if they were, if you were in a more even game, they would have the time to win the 5v4 and then actually go back top mm. and collapse on you. And you wouldn't be doing oh. anything. So it's okay to go split and apply pressure, but you need to be there prior to the objective and not when the objective is spawning or has already spawned. Yeah. Um, I want to go on a dive on him just. Oh! No <laughs> way! <laughs> Okay, we take those. <laughs> Swag. I think they're I, just gonna end though. Yeah, so if they're gonna end, like, what do you achieve by backing? Nothing. Yeah, so you had the plant, you had the camp tech plant. So I yeah. think you should have taken the plant, and you have Nash buff. And even if you're afraid of uh, Max Range Velkos, you can just go bot and take that triple inhib and bring another wave, and then you help your team ending. Because now right, again, putting your team in the back. position to maybe getting engaged. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually starting the coaching because I really need to take a shit and uh, so it's putting myself in a hurry. Okay, okay, I will be right back in a minute. I need to take a shit and then we're gonna look at the at the review. Good job for the game though. Be right back. Thank you. <laughs>
Okay, I'm back. Hey, uh, so you got you, Oh yeah, so I, I'm actually gonna share my screen. Uh, I'm gonna be the okay. one uh, going back on it. So you can stop sharing your screen. I will start sharing my own. Um, up, up. Open Twitch, Discord, share screen. Um, apps, this. Up, up. Okay, so right. do you see me on Chrome looking at my stream? Yep. Okay, nice. Um, boom, boom. Start in Champ Select. Okay, well, um, so overall, um, Jackie, it's pretty yeah. good overall. It's pretty good overall, and the good thing, uh, which is like, which doesn't like happen too often, is that um, you're making like clear, quote unquote, like mistakes. Uh, so wow. it's also like clear things that you can work on easily. Like I, I, I have sometimes people who like do like everything like can be better, and then they kind of have to choose like which one they're gonna focus on. For you, it's like yeah. way easier to decide like which things you should focus on. Uh, because other than the things that I'm going to talk about, uh, everything you're doing pretty good. Um, but the things we're going to talk about, uh, you have like some decent amount of work to do. So hopefully my work here will be to convince you that there has to be some change that has to be made and how good it would be yeah. to make that change. And then I think it would be not too hard for you to work on those. Um, I think hopefully, um, Let's see. So let me open my notes real quick. Um, up, 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 open this. I mean, actually, I, sh I should probably share screen instead of uh, of the app. Because by sharing the app, we can get the sound, but I never use the sound because we remember what you've been saying at different points of the game. Oh. Um Okay, I would actually try it. I would try something different. Stop streaming, share screen one. Okay, I mean, it's almost the same. It's just that now I have uh, the notes on the side that you can see, right? Yeah. Okay, nice. Um, so regarding the first thing, so for me, like you have two responsibilities as a League of Legends players. I keep saying that in every single coaching. The first is doing the thinking as much as you can, like take the information and try to uh take something from it and this should be done every game and by doing it every game you're, you're by default gonna get better at it because let's imagine you thought that shivana was an early game champion and you're like well shivana has dog harvest she's she's an early game champion she's gonna gank etc and then you see shivana ganking and then you see like she's dealing no damage she cannot get in range of fail cause she's doing nothing or well, the next time you're gonna yeah. be able to say okay shivana is not an early game champion like even if you didn't know it if you at least like put some attention to it then the information is going to flow uh, more easily. So you saw how I did it. I kind of like helped you get it to the next step. I think the best way yeah. to do it is go matchup by matchup. Action Aatrox, okay, well, it's TP versus Ignite. Uh, so maybe this guy can snowball, but maybe this guy will have more impact later because he has a TP. Also, the fact that they, they have no TP in their team can be good for my split later. Volibear, Shivana, Volibear more pressure and early, Shivana more scaling. And this is going to be really useful in game, actually. Um, Trindamir Velkos, well Velkos, like he can be pretty safe, etc. But he has like zero sustain early on. He's gonna be pretty weak. I can I can abuse the early like dash auto dash auto etc. I'll sustain and then yeah. uh, he doesn't have my rotation. Like he's very slow on the map Velkos, so I can be wherever faster than him. So okay, that's really interesting for me mid lane for the early game. And then Jin Morgana, it can look scary because like it's infinite CC, like they can lock someone, etc. And they're pretty good into squishes. And I mean, they're not gonna be that good into our front lane then. Um and Jinx Nami, insane scaling. So if we can put our bot lane ahead, or if if they go even, they're gonna be ahead. Because they're gonna like just outscale. So you go like matchup by matchup, even if you don't know like all the things that I do know, it's fine. Like you just do it to the amount of knowledge that you have. Probably that there are things that I do not see in the matchups because I don't know all of them. I just like guess some things. And then you go like yeah. regarding a 5v5 in mid game, like who is supposed to win it? Well, I mean, we have, we have a pretty like balanced comp, but them as well. 
So maybe it's going to depend on Morgana CC and Velcos having a big ult. And in our team, it's going to depend on Chivana, Aatrox having a good engage and Botlane being able to just DPS. And then you think about the scaling, like very, very late game. And what this guy outscales, this guy probably outscales. I mean, it's going to depend. Like Ashen depends on his passive if he gets to use it or not. Um, you're probably outscaling in terms of pressure on the map because they have no TP and you can 1v1 these guys and bot lane outscales. So even going even is good enough for us. That's what I will be looking uh, at, like doing my games, and um, and yeah, I think that's really important. I think that the second thing that was actually really important is jungle tracking. So I did the mistake of not focusing too much on it because we were discussing the HUD. Um, uh, yeah, like this is taking way too much space, and I don't think it changed too much having it small, right? No, I like it. Okay, nice, perfect. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be very important because guess what? Let, let's let's imagine just for a second that you're playing Shivana in this game. And we agreed on the fact that Shivana is weaker early than Volibear. So do you wanna so, so what does it imply for you as a jungler? Um that he I might get invaded. Okay, might get invaded. Now let's talk about scuttle crabs. Yeah. What does it imply for uh, scuttle crabs? I need I need help to get a scuttle crab. I either need help to get the scuttle crab or I need to not path where the enemy jungler is pathing. Um yeah. if you are Shivana, you will be trying to uh not match Volibear's clear, or you will be trying to ask for help and, and match this clear, but then you will need help from uh, either your mid. I mean, oh, mid can always help on Scuttle. That's why like also it's such a broken role. Because if you have prior, yeah. you can help wherever on the map. Uh, or top. Um, so I actually think that uh, Shivana like, made a mistake with her pathing. But this doesn't matter because you're in the mirror and you're playing your champion in mid lane and you need to make the most of it. So now, if you knew, I don't know exactly, because I don't know what you saw that I didn't see, because I was not even looking <laughs> for it. I don't know what makes you know that Volibear started bot, because they both came late, and we didn't check for their mana bars or anything. Did you just guess it? I, I, like, um, I know how they peaked in that bush at level 1, so I just assumed maybe he'd be there. But I don't know, I probably just got lucky. Mm. Okay. I guess. Yeah, like we don't have the information for sure, but I mean, if you had yeah. that information, if you were thinking that Volibear would be pathing to top, this should click. Because from Gem Select, we know that, oh shit, our Shivana is not winning the 1v1. She's pathing to top for Scuttle Crab. Uh, if Volibear is there, we're fucked. We're doomed. Um, especially yeah. also because top has Ignite and our top has TP, so their top is supposed to have more prior early. So now... What you can do is either you ping Shivana off if you don't have the prior, or you look to get the prior for scuttle for scuttle crab, for example. Those could be options. Mm -hmm. um, I think here in that game in particular, once you have that situation, what do you think will be better? Looking to like get the push and help her on scuttle, or looking like to just to at least like call that sh she shouldn't play scuttle, and then if she does, she does, and if she dies, she dies. Um, I think I had a pretty good freeze that I wanted to hold, but also at the same time, I think like she would have a lot of wasted time if she, if she cleared top and then didn't go for the top scuttle, cause then she would have to go for the bot scuttle or just back. So, but also think like, I'm not, I think we would lose early if we 2v2, but I'm not too sure. So I think I'll just tell her to ping off. Okay, well, I do agree that here, like, you don't want to force, like, you have such a big wave, it's hard to, it's it's already hard to thin it, and you don't even manage to thin it, so it doesn't crash, yeah. and you look uh, and look at all the HP lo you lost, so imagine even, like, pushing it, not even thinning it, like, pushing it yeah. back, okay. it's gonna be so hard, plus you have no flash and no ghost, and Volibear, he can, he can skip uh, Crab to maybe look for a gank, uh, that's why I would yeah. agree with that top ward, because if you think he's top, okay, you can put a word up. Because that's where you think he's coming from. And actually, a little trick, like, uh, I don't know if you ever played jungle. But just a little trick, like, uh, regarding jungle timings. 
it's actually really fine for Shivana to do her uh, full clear and then base instant, go instant to bot scuttle, and then she can clear again from, from bot to top. And she wouldn't actually oh, okay. lose time. If she does top clear and then goes on scuttle and then backs, yes, she's going to lose time. If she does full clear, then backs, then goes on bot scuttle, well, then she can have her camps to, uh, to, to clear. And your mission is going to be, by that time, you will have Prayu back. Because right now you don't have Prayu for a bit, you have a freeze, but by that time, either it would have crashed or like, you would be in a position to like all in on vehicles or anything like um yeah but that's why mid prio is important earlier okay so that might have been a bit advanced uh because that's not like what's gonna matter the most but that's like what happens every single game like in higher elos that's what goes into the minds of uh at least the junglers and what should go into the mind of the mid laner um and yeah. so so you don't want to create situations where uh, you're getting crashed in when scuttle is coming and if and you have like you could win the 2v2 but you decide on like not pushing not getting the the prior things like that uh it's gonna be very important um now i will come back so so i just like put that in the jungle tracking like uh um angle or like just doing the thinking and how it matters and why like million is actually so impactful because in top it's it's, yeah. it's, it's very different like it's not that different by the way though if I'm seeing my Shivana, like if I was Aatrox and I'm seeing Shivana uh, pathing top, uh, I would just like have the wave on my side and call her off. Like same like as you're doing basically. Okay. Uh, okay, now let's see how we play that level one. So I think like you should like actually like look to, um, maybe you can get one minion low. Like for me, she entered her lane already at that point. For I me, entered or he? She, she uh, or I'm saying she, oh, but okay. because it's a, is it a dude or is it a girl or is it a thing? I have no clue. <laughs> I don't know. A so thing. for me, <laughs> Velkos inted. Can you understand why I think that Velkos is inting right now? Because he's pushing the wave too fast. I think the issue is Velkos can... is pushing, but he cannot crash if yeah. you don't let him crash. He all oh, he has is W, oh. and he he's already using his Ws. Uh, yeah. And, and I don't think that he can like bring that wave to your turret or he can bring the next wave to your turret without being in big danger. Um, I don't think Velkos is playing that correctly. I think he's not used to this matchup. And I think like you should E, e on him and start like trading on him as soon as you can. Like as soon as you're in range, even if you're, you feel like you're in range like right now, like you should dash in auto. Uh, why? Okay. Because you have this shield. Because you're gonna have Qs, and because being full HP in League of Legends is useless. Because when you're full HP, you're actually losing HP because you know, like you have the the base health regen. So yeah. you're not using oh. your belt, your base health regen right now. So you're actually it's kind of like yeah. you're you're like losing HP. And again, that's why Trinomir is so good because you have infinite sustain when they have most of the mid lane champions they don't have even sustain and they also are using mana so and you can like you don't have mana and you have infinite sustain so they have two bars that they need to be careful of you have zero basically because you can just press q later and you're playing d shield and you have a pot and you have second wind yeah so yeah you should dash on him like on cd and just if you can get an extended trade of course like, get that extended trade uh, but if you cannot, it's 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 fine. Just e auto once or twice, and then you you are winning this by default. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, we end up missing the e, I think. Um, yeah, I missed the e. And here, I mean, I'm fine with this play just because you held that wave. Yeah, but then I went back in. Yeah. So I mean. Here, I w like both are good and for different reasons. So I wouldn't follow yeah. the flash. Actually, I wouldn't follow the flash. Uh, like but Velkos is in a, like he's in a terrible situation here. Like he's in a terrible situation. Yeah. He's gonna have to base. Um, you have a good wave. You can just like keep the freeze, and when you come back, 
Well, he's gonna have dual flash and you're gonna have a flash advantage and maybe on level six you can use it to kill him etc but here it's yeah. also good to it's also good to flash in and get the kill it's also good to flash in and get the kill because the wave is also good and you're trinomir you're a gold hungry champion you want gold to function so i mean both are good i'm fine with it like there's nothing to say actually like if you are certain that you kill him by following like i think it's good to kill him and follow it just it now just implies that you have no flash, so now you're less useful on a two v two situation or more vulnerable to yeah. volley bear. But you're scaling and and you're getting items, so so this is fine. Um, I'm not seeing like any big mistakes so far. Now this, okay. you want to hold the freeze. Yeah. How, like how many minions could we take away from this wave, and you would still have a freeze? What do you think? Oh, I think most. I think I only need like. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I think if I killed four minions, it would still hold. So let's say you make these four disappear. You think it will still like hold the freeze? Yeah. Hmm. So I'm not completely sure about that. So when you're around here, I mean, actually, yes, probably because all you need here is one and a half extra cs uh extra like full hp cs uh oh. extra like if it's even waves here it's gonna push to him right you agree with this yeah okay yes because your next wave is gonna hit first so all you need is like let's say two extra cs so these three are cancelled by these three cannon is being cancelled by cannon actually his cannon has more hp and this let's say it's cancelled by this one so you can actually clear this 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 and you will still have a freeze Oh. So and and that's if he's not hitting the wave, you can clear like uh, actually clearing the casters is better because they do more damage. And that's if he's not hitting the wave. But now, yeah. So first, I, like here, you should I be hitting. You should be hitting. You should be autoing. You should be autoing, contesting a bit. Yeah. And now he's hitting the wave, or he's gonna hit the wave. And then it so and you know he's gonna hit the wave. Like he wants to fix that. Yeah. And now, again, like you have a bit too, like you can hit this, like the cannon could disappear and you will still have a freeze rate. Right? So, so hit it. Because now, because you don't hit it, because you're too slow and you don't like auto on cooldown, here you're not autoing for some reason, and he's hitting spells, mm -hmm. well now you cannot hold the freeze and now it's crashing to you. And now you don't have a good wave anymore. Yeah. Okay. So it's going to be really important that, uh, that you, you thin the wave, basically. Um, do you see it now? Yeah. Okay. Now, little thing. Yeah. It's something that you didn't do too often. I mean, last coaching we saw we saw it a lot. Here we only saw it a few times, uh, but we still saw it. So it's important. Here you're gonna hit all of these. Yes, right. So you're gonna build fury up. Yeah. So you should press Q. Okay. Yeah, you should press Q, and here, like after pressing Q, you will be actually full fury after because here, see how you're resting, and yeah. now you press Q. But now you're not full fury at the end, and yeah, you and also your Q is on cooldown. So yeah, just press Q whenever you're not gonna interact. And and yeah, that's that's about it for this one. Okay, so we were in this situation. So this was a cannon wave, so the next one was not a cannon wave. So this wave is not a cannon wave. So next wave is Yeah. Next wave is gonna be Cannon or not cannon? The next wave coming uh, after this? Cannon. Okay. So which one which one do you think you wanna crush? If if you wanna crush and get your two boots? I wanna crash the cannon. No. I don't think so. No? Oh, so okay. Oh because it's hard to crash? It's hard to crash, and you will have to crash it here, and you have no flash into volleyball. So yeah. you're you'll be in danger. Also, if you push this wave, you will have your 80 gold and you will have your tier 2 boots. Um, yeah. And that's like two good enough reasons. And also, if you crash the cannon wave, it means that the wave after Vilkos would have to crash before you come will, have, will be a normal wave. And Vilkos will have the damage to crash it before you come. So you will come back to a bad wave. Oh, okay. If you crash this wave, you come back to a cannon wave that Vilkos doesn't have to time to crash. And you have your tier 2 boots and you can prevent him from crashing it. And 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 threaten to all in him and kill him again. Oh, okay. So that's that's like laning, that's mid lane, that's top lane. It's always about like 
the waves and what you're gonna do with your time. Yeah. Earlier it was like about like my wave, is it good? Like can I do something about scuttle regarding that wave, etc.? Uh, can I take a base? Can I invade? Can I go box? And this is mid lane. And that's why I think like mid lane is extremely... And you actually do it, which is good. Um, but here, actually, do we agree? I mean, first, like, you didn't do it as fast as you could. Uh, I'm just going to mm. see something because if you don't do it here... I don't know if... You, look, so here, you didn't want to push yet. You're looking to maybe help. Yeah, but I left. Yeah, because I mean, as I said, like you, you see how in champ select we could have guessed that this was not working, because it's X Knight yeah. top, it's uh, it's uh, Shivana into Volley Bear, and you don't have the good wave, so you should like not even look yeah. to make that play and look to instant push, uh, yeah. and Velkos would lose actually a lot. And here I wrote it: Do we agree that it's good to base here, only because Volley Bear took that wave, and press W? Do we agree on that or do we not agree on that? So you're saying, um, was it a good base? Let's say, yeah. Was it a good base? Yeah, yes or no and why? Um, I don't know. Uh, yes. Why? Because actually, I th because it's a cannon wave, so like I won't miss too much if he crashes it. Yes. So my point is only that um, if you decided, for example, like to crash that wave, like we talked about, like for for a good reset, etc., you you would yeah. have to crash it before the cannon wave comes, so it crashes it. Yeah. Like, like that's important. But here, because you get a bit caught up between the idea of maybe pushing, uh, maybe going to join that fight, maybe not. Well, by the time you're pushing yeah. it and now Volibear is holding the wave, w what should Volibear do right here? He should tank it, so it tank it for Velkos. Yes. And if Volibear tanks it for Velkos and freezes it, then is it a good base? Then I'm wrecked. No. Yes. Then you're completely fucked because now you have no flash. Yeah. You know that Volibear is not far and you have to crash a whole cannon wave with only tier 1 boots, no AD, yeah. and, and in a bad position. But here, Volibear used his W, cleared the way for some reason, and now he's, ma he's, he's making it push again to you. So now it's a good base. Yeah. Do you realize that? Did you realize that like, on the spot, if Volibear like, just held the wave, would, they, would you have stayed? Or is it like something that you would have like, considered? I think, to be honest, I would have backed regardless. Okay. Well, you would have like virtually lost your I game lost right here. Yeah. yeah. So this is important that you stay like actually like, basically your mission before 15 minutes is to be obsessed about your waves and be there for as many yeah. ways as possible. And then even for the skirmishes, like it's okay to skirmish and to go for flanks and dives when you have a good wave, yeah. basically. That way by default, even if the skirmish is not working, they are the one losing golden experience. Because yeah, even imagine if, if you went there if you went there and you did like, you went even and did one for one, you went there, you committed and you do one for one, your team is losing yeah. because you're bleeding gold and experience because your wave is not in a good spot. So my point is yeah. that's, that's mid lane or that's lane in general. Like you want to commit, you want to make plays, you want to think about your wave first. That's your responsibility. You're mid lane, you're taking care of that lane. So yeah, that was like really like important and it's important to notice that Volibear completely ended that by fixing that wave. If it didn't, you yeah, would have to stay. Lucky. And 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 I don't know, like maybe then let's say let's say he freezes it and then you go you see him go bot. How can you look to to clear that wave? To to fix your cannon wave. If you can, maybe you can. Um I would say like huh. Because it would be frozen on him, his double buffs, it'd be hard to like crash it. Maybe see like if he starts poking me because he's he does splash damage. AOE, yes, sir. He'll yeah, so automatically you, start pushing. Exactly. So you have two options. It's either you try to actually hit the wave and you stand here. That way, if Volibear mm -hmm. comes, well, you're not in danger. Plus, like you still have boots, you have a bit of movement speed, and you can move top. And if Velkos yeah. is hitting spells on you, well, that way he's not hitting spells on the wave. 
So your wave is healthy and it's pushing, etc. Or you put yourself in your wave and you force Velkos to auto you, to use spells, etc. And that way he's going to fix it for you by making it push back to you. Mm -hmm. Those those will be like the only two options you would have to like fix your wave slash game. And now because we backed on a cannon wave, all we missed was one million of experience. Nice. Yeah. Okay. And now we have to make a decision. So this was a cannon wave. So what is next yeah. one? This one coming. Regu it's not a cannon. Regular and what, wave. And yeah. what is the following? Regular one? wave. Um, the regular wave also, right? Yes. And then it's a cannon. So this yeah. is super important to make your plans. Because here I ask you, okay, what's the plan now? And you're not exactly sure. And you're thinking about maybe going pot. I would yeah. tell you what my plan would be here. Slow push as slow as possible, as slow as possible to try to stack, uh, to clear this wave, the next one and the following one, because maybe with this wave, the next one and the following one, two things would happen. I would get my crash on a cannon wave, plus I would have be crashing a giga big wave and Velkos would be stuck for a long time. And maybe yeah. I would get level six. I can die. Maybe I will yeah. get level 6 and this way I can either dive mid or I can dive top or I can dive bot. But I'm free as fuck because my wave is crashed, it's a cannon wave and I have my ult. That's what I would be playing for. What I would not be playing for would be like uh, pushing this fast and then having the next regular wave in a situation where like I need like to fix it or to crash it or anything. So what I would do, I would not hit that melee minion. I would not E in those CS. Uh, I would like legit yeah. like auto at the very last moment. This way, this way would have actually like met here and not here. Still like a bit yeah. under turret. And the last wave would have been like around here, but I can still like crash it and maybe I get level six from it. But here, because we push a bit fast, now what happens? Well, now you're level five and a half cannot really do much uh -huh. about it and you have to stay for the next wave so you're not like stacking waves or anything still yeah so that's that's of course like that would be like the plan in theory now there's something that that like kind of fucks us is the double buff on velkos yes so you see how we were saying that on trinomir it's good to dash in on cd because you're gonna out sustain etc well now it doesn't work because uh -huh. it has double buff so I yeah. think that you should like he's gonna sustain more than your D shields, um, and, and and like he's gonna sustain enough. He has blue buff, he can spam abilities. So I wouldn't even go for trades here. I would I would play for my level yeah. six basically. Um, so this was bad. <laughs> yeah, like it doesn't achieve it. anything. Yeah. And now let's see. Okay, it's you wouldn't bad. have gotten level six, but but I mean you see the ID that I would have got. Uh, yeah, because I'm thinking about yeah the nature of of my waves, and here I wouldn't I wouldn't dash mm -hmm. in before, like here my goal would be like hitting the wave as fast as possible to get my level six and then I dash in, mm. and and I can even do like I mean you you've watched Ranger like and also you do it yourself like the dash in that gets you the level six into the all in you know so you put the minions yeah. like two many minions low and then you dash in you level up your your ult and you go for an all in. And bro, this works like so much. So yeah, here, imagine you, if you actually had six, even if you, he hits the E, well, then you go, so you just kill him. Like he's just dead here, mm. actually. Uh, but now when we get six, we don't have any element of surprise. And yeah. also, of course, we're looking I to crash. Here, uh, no, no, you don't. And, and it's really good. Like you get action, uh, flash and ignite. But you had left face six, so you're fine. So it's all good. Um, yeah. But you see how, yeah. The level six like spike is like so important in that one v one, in the one v one lane. Yeah. Um, okay, so now we're gonna come back and now what does Velkos wanna do? Let's imagine your Velkos. To... He wants to reset. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yes. Yeah, so, so yeah. what does it mean for you? Uh, I should shove the next wave. Okay. You should be concerned about the nature of the next wave. If you get like a bit uh, lost in the nature of the waves, you should be concerned about it. And and if it's a regular one, I think it means that the next one is going to be canon, if I'm not mistaken. So now after shoving this, you have a play that can be made. 
Oh, and you're, you're actually like thinking about maybe going bot here. Um, yeah. I think that's... So So you checked bots before like thinking about the play, which is really nice. Yeah. Here you check it and you see, okay, maybe it's diveable, maybe not. I think it's really important that you check it again, maybe now, you know, because it's now that you're going to make your decision. Now you're going to commit to yeah. either plating, top, but top is dead, or bot. It's, it's between the plating or bot. I would actually go mm. bot here. Okay. Uh, the reason is Shivana is bot. We saw Velkos going top. So at Wards is a 4v3. Yeah. The bot lane is level 4. The bot lanes are level 4. You are two levels up on them. And by the time you're bot, you have Flash, Ghost, Ult, Shivana, your bot lane to, to kill like Jin Morgana. Mm -hmm. I think this is more of a win condition, especially because we talked again in Champ Select how uh, how uh, Jinx Nami can just carry the game later if they if they manage to scale. Um, I think this is more of a win condition than when plating mid. And okay. you actually, so you could say, yeah, but I'm Trinomir, I want as much gold as possible, I want as much resource, I need to be selfish, etc., which is right. But actually you get more gold than 175 by going bot and killing two people. So, yeah. yeah, I think because we know that Velkos wants to base, Velkos is out, our jungler is bot, bot lane is like, kind of dominating, they already like won uh, skirmishes, their bot lane was pretty low, you have a wave crashed in, the yeah. next wave is cannon wave, you have your fresh, you have your ghost, it doesn't get better than this, like it legit doesn't mm. get better than this to, to go and, and dive bot. Um, does yeah. it make sense? Yeah. If you take one of these conditions, maybe I wouldn't go. If I didn't have my ghost, if it was not a cannon wave coming, if Velkos has just backed and he's coming back, if Shivana was not bot, maybe I would not go for it. But here it's like it's just like it's it's pure math, you know, like mathematically you just look mm. at that and you just imagine you running here, she running here. Like it 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 cannot not work, basically. Even if there is no wave. Um plus they're super low. Um Yeah. Okay. And now, so this is the cannon wave we're talking about, which Velkos would have been stuck on. And now we can look again for an opportunity. So I don't know if we had the reflex of... Wait, Velkos actually didn't back, no? Because Velkos no. went to top side. <laughs> so Velkos didn't base, so you actually have a big item advantage. Plus uh, Velkos has no oh. red or blue buff, so that's why like now you can just like look for a big all-in. Like, you have tier 2 boots, he or she or it yeah. has no boots. So I think that's what you see, or maybe you don't. I think I wrong bot here. Yeah. So 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 Velkos wants to base. We don't we don't want to give Velkos the the reset. So I think you should be positioning more aggressively. You should be just walking up mm. to pressure to either hold a freeze, or just uh, cancel like Velkos recall. Like here you're you're doing him a favor by clearing that wave. Now like if you, imagine if oh, you can clear yeah. that wave, like now you give him even waves. And this is not even a freeze yeah. now. The minions are too low HP. Um, so you actually did him a big favor here. He was in a bad spot yeah. and you gave him an even one. So now my point, you remember when I talked about the waves? It's okay to move here, mm -hmm. but I would have moved either after making sure that I have a freeze here. So even these can hold you a freeze. How? How can you hold a freeze with even these ridiculous low HP minions? I, there is a way. Uh... I walk them towards his lane. Exactly. Towards him, his area, so they're like further back. Yeah. So if you actually like take this way, yes, you'll be a bit later, but by default, Velkos is losing gold and experience if he's moving as well. And if he's not, well, then you create a 4v3 or 4v2 situation after, after Volibear is dead. Um, mm. So it's, so you see, it's not a big deal, but I'm seeing it like if, if, if you haven't like thought about it during like, these opportunities, it means that over 100 games, I'm guessing that it happens like 200, 300 times that you don't think about the way yeah. first. And and yeah. it's like super important. And you see how now, because you made the play bot on a timer where there was no cannon waves, well, Action was able to move and Atrix was forced to move and now Velkos is crashing and now Velkos has two platings. And yeah. now is okay. the cannon wave that... You, and now Velkos has a good base if he wants to base, actually. Yeah. So so yeah, all like yeah, be obsessed about those cannon waves, be all obsessed about your, your wave state. Super important. Uh I put 850 press Q. Yeah, you see you have this situation again where you're gonna hit those, get Shuri again. Yeah. So you should press Q here. 
And one last time, just so, so it appears nice and clearly. Up here, 7.13, if I put it, yeah, same here. So you're going to clear those minions. So same, you can press, press Q to be way higher in HP. You press it a bit late, like, mm -hmm. should be instead. Okay, now yeah. let's keep moving. I mean, I mean, it's going to be the same, like for our early game, it's going to be like this again and again. Um, okay, now we have something interesting. Now we're gonna start talking about objectives because you have a pretty decent yeah. understanding uh, of how to play objectives and how to impact them as trend. And my goal as a coach right now is to make you have a really good understanding because right now it's decent or it's good, Yeah. But, but it has to be really good. I don't want it to be perfect or insane, just really good. And it serves one more step. So for example, here I'm, I'm telling you like, what are we playing for? And you say, there's no Drake on the map, bro, come on. <laughs> like, yeah <laughs> there's a herald that's the objective on the map so we need to play for herald yeah. but now there's an issue we don't have ult we don't no have ult. ghost ghost okay trindamir with no ult is not the best champion in the game right yeah so now how do we help for herald you still want to have you're not not gonna help for herald like you still need to do your best to help your team for herald especially because your gender is top how do you do it? What are your weapons to have for Herald? I can just pressure mid, so then Velkos has to match me. Okay, that's a good thing. Another thing you can do, another weapon that you have, it's yellow. It's not your flesh. Ward. Yes, <laughs> for example. Yeah. So if we can pressure mid, try to pin Velkos mid lane. We can also mm -hmm. use the ward, try to get information on, on, on Volibear. These are good ways to yeah. um, these are good ways to help for for the herald. Uh, by the way, are you looking to push that wave hard? Is that what you're looking to do? Okay, well you're doing it yeah. wrong then. Uh, okay. It's funny how okay I I thought it was like a common ground that everyone like was doing it, but actually people stop talking about it for some reason. The fastest way of clearing a wave. What is it? I mean, I mean, of course, I'm not gonna ask you because if you're not doing it, it means that you don't like, you haven't understood why. So it's actually clearing yeah. the casters first and then the melees, and you have actually three reasons for that. So here, because you have enough AD to kill a caster with one auto and one E, what I would be doing is yeah. walk towards the casters, auto, 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 E towards my melees, oh, then e and then back. finish them. The reason is yeah. casters. Reason one: they deal more damage. So of course, if you want to yeah. push the wave, it's because you want to pin Velkos and you want Velkos to stay along, as long as possible. So you want your wave to be as healthy as possible. That's one thing. Reason yeah. two, casters are squishier. So they die faster. So now you have the minions that do the more damage that also die faster. That's two good reasons to kill them. And now reason three, let's observe what your minions do. So now your minions were focusing melees, but now look at this minion, for yeah. example. Now he's running and he's not hitting. So the thing is, oh. by hitting the casters first, you're letting your minions DPS as much as possible. Hit, 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 hit. And during that time, you're dealing also as much damage as possible. And you're denying damage, as much damage as possible to the enemy wave. And this way, your minions have no lull state where they're just like walking from a minion to another. Mm, okay. Does it make sense? Yeah. Okay, That's so whenever really you want to push away from now on, you start with the casters, dash towards the melees, and then finish off the melees. That's and you're gonna gain gain like seconds. It's actually it's not even like tenths of a second. It's like seconds. Um, mm. Okay. So now we have a bit of, of 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 pressure, and we can look, but we need to still be careful because we don't have our ultimate, as you said. Uh, so yeah. maybe it's a bit greedy to get in melee range and that E out is not necessary. Like you E out nothing here, by the way. Mm -hmm. So it's okay to E maybe to buffer your E whenever Volibear is going to like look to like CC and W. For example, here buffering the E out would be good. So you don't get hit by the W. Yeah. But now he has no more spells and Velkos is not in range. So you could just, you know, space it, like walk this way. Like here you just E nothing. And also maybe you don't yeah. recognize that Something that can help you also play Heralds that you have top prior though. So even if it's Ultless mm. Trindamir, well, Ultless Trindamir plus Shivana plus Aatrox still beats 
fully wear and velcros. But you still need to be in a position to impact this whenever like Aatrox is coming. So now we're dashing out nothing. So now you're not in a position yeah, to impact. Here, imagine if you had your dash in, yeah. you dash in instant on, on 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 this guy, and then he flashes away. Okay, well now you're DPSing that guy. And and yeah, we still do one for one, which is decent. Uh, no, we're, yeah. we're, we're not <laughs> we're not diving. You don't have your ult. The play is over. We were defending Herod. Herod is defended. So now we just play for that with may with with mid wave. And yeah. and again, like you hit the caster caster first if you want to push it. Okay, and now it's a cannon wave, so you actually had the timer to reset here. I think, for example, here it can be a good time to base. Uh, I don't know if you have. Yeah, you have your iron spec whip. It builds with the this, no? It builds yeah. with the pickaxe. Yeah. Yeah. So here, actually, because it's a cannon, because the play is over, because you're not at risk of losing that herald, because also action was stuck under his, under his turret, but now action has pushed in the wave, so now maybe action can move. For all of these reasons, now is a good time to base. Again, mm -hmm. a cannon wave. You can buy your iron spec whip. So now you come back, and now the next wave that you will have to clear, like you're gonna clear it so fast because now you have your iron spec whip, which is such a big, uh, big uh, power spec on GWR. Mid, yeah. especially. Um, but we don't base, and we actually base on a normal wave, I think. Um, which is fine though because you are the one yeah so okay because you're the one crashing it first and it's not like even way so it's fine to back here because like, he backed before you okay so it ends up being a good base um, but it could have been better I think you should have a, yeah, just base when, whenever you had the time for it uh, okay yeah. now again we're gonna look at the nature of the waves and we're gonna look at the objectives and we're gonna think how do we help my team and it's funny because you, it shows that you didn't have a clear ID. You told me like, maybe I will get Preyu and then help them. By doing what I asked you and you'd say, by going there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't really know what to do here. Yeah, so okay. So it, it's it's actually like, it, it, it might sound complicated to know, ex but actually it's pretty simple. Botlane is backing now. Nam is backing. Shivana is very low HP. So, yeah. like, we're not doing anything on that Drake unless Shivana has HP back and Botlane is back on the map. Like, right now, we're not in a position to do it. So the best mm -hmm. you can do right now, what would it be? Just stay in lane. Stay in lane, okay. Clear that way, like, make sure it doesn't crash to you, why not? And now you have yeah. another weapon, you actually have two of them. And they're yellow. Ward. I should go Ward. Yeah, so maybe after clearing that wave, you have a bit of, of a timer. Like your Trindamir, you have also another broken part about Trindamir that people overlook is that you have your W. You can uh, you can oh, actually yeah. like uh, you can face check bushes. You're allowed to yeah. face check bushes because if it lights up, then you just walk back, no problem. So here, for example, after clearing that, but what does that word achieve? You see, Aatrox is pinging to play Drake. You want to play Drake. Mm -hmm. Your jungler is playing towards Drake yeah. and he's getting higher in HP. Your bot lane that's winning is going back bot. Everyone's pinging Drake and you are top, top push. It's a useless ward. Yes. My point is you need to use words for the objective that you want to play, basically. Uh, mm. very first levels maybe not like you want to use word like to either get info on, on, on volleyball like something that's really good to do as a mid laner is if you're able to have the push in the first waves uh, and like imagine like you didn't like um, went for the dive and kill the Velkos at level like 2 or 3 you just go forward on Raptors this way you have a lot of information on the enemy jungler actually like if the Raptors are down it means that he started bot and if a Raptors are not down it means that most likely he started top or he, or he skipped games. And then whenever you see him on Raptors, you can count the CS and you know exactly like what he did on paper. So early words, you do them in order to follow the junglers, but it's also in order to play the first objective, which is Scuttle. And then later, the words, you use them for the objective you want to play. So it could have been Herald earlier, and we would have actually spotted yeah. Volibear walking this way. And here it could be Drake, because that's what you want to play for. But right. here, yeah, you're actually putting a word that yeah doesn't give you like any useful information. 
Uh, now we have the info on Volibear being top, so your team knows that they can just play for the Drake. You get that really nice 1v1 kill because you, you go through the E. I mean, this matchup, it's all about this. And like it's, it's, it's actually so easy because you can even flash the E and then maybe even if he flashes away, well, you just follow with Ghost and... Like, if you hit the W, he's dead, basically. You didn't even hit the W and he's still dead. So, yeah. that's really good. Um, good job on that kill. Now, I will be looking to maybe... I think you could... Oh, no, no, okay. So, you reset on the cannon wave, which is really good. Now, we have this. So, this was a bit of a mechanical mistake. First, like, you should absolutely not trade HP here. Because your mission, mm. what is going to be... Like, you know what your mission is going to be. Your mission is going to be to defend yeah. your turrets. You need to be uh, as healthy yeah. as possible to defend them. Trading this little bit of HP on Volibear, like you're not going to kill him 1v2 or 1v3. Like that's not the play. You don't have ult. So yeah. I think this was a mistake already. I think you should press Q on CD. Right now you should press Q. And, and you should look oh, to, yeah. to hit that, that I as much as possible. Yeah. You still have E. You're still fine. You dodge that. Like you can, you can like go hit, hit like yeah they cannot like just dive you i think and yeah and she turned away yeah, bro. He TP'd. <laughs> okay <laughs> and now one thing you could try to look for is actually like maybe you know that like on trina mirror you, you it's actually impossible theoretically to miss an e on someone who is using zonias do you like understand this mechanic that it's impossible to miss it on someone who's using Zonias? So someone is using oh. Zonias and you want to time your E to deal damage when they go out of the Zonias. But it's actually kind of impossible to miss it. The reason is, yeah. you don't like, like your E is going to do damage in a circle. But if they're in that circle at any point, they will get the damage, you know? So you don't even have to yeah. last, last second it. You can just like do a big E through them just a bit before the Zonias like, uh, is over. And then... Like at, at the pixel, they're gonna be alive. They're gonna die from it. They don't have the time to flash from it. Maybe yeah. it's something. It's something that actually relies at some point. But yeah, so you just dash through yeah. them. So this way, you have actually long, a lot of time covered, where like they would get a tick of damage, and yeah. they cannot like flash away from it. And this mechanic could be used on Herald actually. So you could use the the E, stupidly. And even if he's gonna hit you, he's still gonna get hit by the E damage. Oh. Or, or most likely he will even die before like... And then, then it depends like how it's coded in the Riot's end. But if you actually E, even towards your turret, if you E this way, because he's faster than your E, at some point he's gonna get in your E, uh, e zone, you know? E damage zone? Yeah. And he's gonna get damaged by, by it. So maybe you could have oh. actually killed the Herald with an E back. Yeah. I mean, it's a close call because he's still 144 and I think he, he has some armor, the Herald, so maybe it doesn't even kill him. But it's a nice idea to have and and thing to be maybe looking for, you know. Yeah, the E actually yeah. doesn't hit him. Um, yeah. So we lost two turrets. I mean, it's, it's a bit unfortunate, but it could have been like done better, uh, which is fine. And now we yeah, decide on... Um, so we decide on going top and sending Aatrox mid. I mean, as long as you had a reason for it and you actually like, think about it and think that I'm a better side laner. Aatrox is better mid right now than me, mid. If you actually think that, I'm fine with it. I'm not completely convinced because now you need to think about it. Like, okay, if you're going on side lane, who's going to be on side lane? Uh, most likely action. Do you kill one action? 1v1 can actual skill action. Now thinking about it, I think yes, it's better for you to be on side lane because you have straight breaker flash goes. So if action shows, you just kill him. Uh okay. Yeah. But yeah, I just I just wanted to make sure that um that you had that in mind. You know, that that's what you're thinking of. Uh now let me see when you press tab, because we might have an interesting play that can be made. Uh next time you're actually pressing tab. Like, that's not the issue. Just need to catch it. Okay, I mean you were pressing it before. Oh. I know you're gonna press it now. Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! Uh. Okay, okay, okay. I, I'm good. <laughs> I will have it. I will have it. It's gonna be. 
Oké, okay, oké, okay, yeah. I got it. Uh, oké, okay, a bit of an advanced play, actually. But that actually, like, you would be surprised how good it works. Um, Drake is in 143. And you're yeah. actually splitting top because you want to apply pressure for Drake. Um, yeah. Something that you don't want to happen is to push too early, get collapsed on, and they still have time to go to the Drake, right? Uh, yeah. That's not good splitting. Like You want to apply pressure when your team is in a position to do Drake. So if they come as two or three on you, well, they do Drake. You just like the Nash later in the game. Okay, so mm -hmm. we agree on that. Uh, up. So now one thing that could be done it's like it's something that's fun in league, and and I talked about it in other coaching. How people once the like one turret or two turrets are, are gone, they will stop like doing like some wave manipulations. They will stop freezing. They will stop slow pushing. They will stop doing that kind of things. But actually, if you push here, what's gonna happen? If you hard push that wave, you're gonna get this wave. But now enemy team is gonna get this blue wave also. And then you're going to be forced to be standing here to clear the next wave for a duration where they can actually collapse on you and 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 your team gets nothing from it because Drake is, is not up. Now, what if we slow push, actually? What happens if we decide to slow push? Well, if we slow push last minute, last second, last auto, first, a lot of your wave is going to be denied to the enemy team because this kind of wave is going to hit a lot. Then you're going to bring a very big wave to their side. And by the time you bring a big wave, we're going to be like 30 to 40 seconds before Drake and maybe even like 20 seconds before Drake. Depends how like many waves you can actually slow push. Also, it makes it so if someone wants to come and farm this wave, they're super far up on the lane and you can like just chase them forever with straight breaker and flash and ghost. Uh, if it's yeah. action coming, he's fucked. So you see, like it's it's like three benefits of just like slow pushing this wave. And now because we're hard pushing, now yeah. look at where you are, and exactly he can come to you because Drake is not up yet. So I'm not like he doesn't kill you, and you actually kill him, but he doesn't do shit. And now you used flash and ult before the Drake, mm -hmm. and like you're not applying really pressure. Oh, by the way, little mechanic. So so you see maybe the slow push on this timer. Because, yeah, you just need to, to think that I want to be applying pressure around like one minute before the objective spawns. That's what I want to do. I don't want to pressure too early and I don't want to pressure yeah. too late. So you need to kind of think about how am I going to do that? Or maybe it could be fine like, to hard push the wave, but then maybe you look for vision in their jungle. Maybe you look to, for, to steal like jungle camps and then you push on the next wave or the following one. Um... By that, because here, like you see, you're, you're applying pressure, you're starting to apply pressure on the timing where your bot lane is actually basing to buy items to do Drake. So they're right to base. Yeah. But but yeah, so we're a bit uh, desynchronized. Uh, here, little thing, it's just yeah. like mechanically, I think if you commit it fully to the fight. Um, oh, okay, it's not, okay, it's it's pretty close. Because like if, if you instant W, if you instant like went on him, uh, Maybe you like you don't have to flash out and you can kill him before the end of your old duration. But it's a close call. Okay, I I, I still agree with that. Um, I still agree with how you played it. It's fine, and it ends up like being pretty good. But now there's Drake, and now it's too late to go top. Now you shouldn't go top. Oh, okay. Because by the time you're gonna be there top, and and you're gonna be like showing top side. If they, like, yeah. right now they don't know that you're, you're going top. And they might decide to go as five. Like, Jin might decide to, like, clear that wave and then go. And they might decide to go as five on Drake. And yes, you will get a free T2, but now your team has to play a 4v5. Like, you want mm -hmm. to be there. And, and, and the reason you want to be there is because you want someone to come. That's the reason. And if you beat that someone, you just kill him. And if you don't beat that someone, you just out-rotate him. Right? Yeah. That's what you want to do. And now we're going a bit late. But still, at that point, because you see if they committed on that Drake, if Action decided to go Drake and not top, yes, you get that turret or most of it because you don't have Demolish, so you get most of the turret. But now it's a 4v5 here. And it's probably lost right. Drake when you actually wanted to play for that Drake. 
Sometimes you don't want to pray for yeah. the Drake and you want to pay for yourself and for T2, and then it's good. But if you wanted to pray for the Drake, that's not how you do it. Now, Akshan is here, and Akshan, you're not going to dive him. You don't have ult. That's why I'm calling, like, mm -hmm. once I would see Akshan, I would instant go mid and look to shove that mid. Because now I'm helping my team by pinning Akshan top, and then I'm also helping my team by maybe pinning someone mid, or, or also pinning Akshan, like, mid. But I would be doing something, because here, like, you're not going to get that wave. Here you're just doing nothing. He's pinned yeah. already. Action is already there. You did your job. That's why I'm saying like I would instant go mid. Once I see action, boom, mid. Because I'm not gonna kill the guy. And we go a bit yeah. late and we actually like end up meeting Velkos. But this is bad by Velkos. Yeah, because now it's it's a 4v3 on Drake. So now you did your job. Because you applied pressure on two people and not one. Hmm. So th this is really good. But I think it should have been like instant, you know? Like, okay, actually yeah. here, I'm not going to dive in. And you could know that prior. Like, of course, it's hard that when you see action, you evaluate the situation and then you're like, okay, well, now I think that I cannot kill him. Like, you just know prior to it. When you're walking, you have so much time walking and thinking. Be like, okay, if it's action, I cannot kill. If it's very, like, I have no ult, I cannot kill. So I would try to bring someone. If no one comes, I just hit the wave. If someone comes, I just rotate, for example. And here, same, yeah. like, you, you want to play for Herald, but no, it's too late to go bot. Like, by the time you're bot pressuring something, like, everyone would have, like, for me, like, the best way for you to play Herald is, I mean, still to go bot, because, like, er, like call your team to go base and go on Herald straight. They're actually, it's funny how they pinged mm. Herald. They pinged that they're going on it, but then they just stayed bot for some reason. Um, mm. So it's still fun going bot. But if your team was basing, I think maybe like, just go with them. Because by the time you're bot, uh, oh, yeah. yeah, Herald would be like already contested or done or over. So this is still fine. I'm still like fine with it. Whatever happens, I don't care. But like, this is this is a good play. This is still like more resources for your team. Your bot lane made the biggest yeah. mistake. Uh, you traded one for one. It's fine. And our bot for Nash. And this is good, but uh, I think it's the moment where I ask you who can match you here. Maybe it's not that <laughs> moment, uh, but like you need you need to be thinking of who's matching you, and how it's gonna yeah. play out, and and actually, well, action is matching you, so you cannot afford to use your E. But still, they come as two on you for some reason, so we just get Nash. And we That's it. That simple. Yeah. But so you have that idea right, but sometimes like it's not by default there's an objective bot I should go top. I should be able to create mm -hmm. a pressure point on the opposite side of the map when my team is able to create pressure on the objective that I want to get. That yes. Yeah. So now if we want to play Drake, I think I think the, at that point like the fight is being won. I think you should just push mid instant. I, I wouldn't even join that. Like okay, maybe you can go and KS something, but like they don't need <laughs> you at that point. Yeah. Then. At that point, they don't need you in the fight. Everyone is full HP. Yeah. So just start pushing mid, you know? So we push a bit late, yeah. which is fine. We make the catch on that guy. We pray for the Drake, which is which is what we were looking to do. And on that next objective is going to be Nash. So most likely, it's really good that we empty the jungle. I really like that. We stay a bit too long and we commit and we die. I'm still fine with it yeah. because this death doesn't achieve anything for them. It doesn't do shit. Like, when you think about it, yeah. taking that romp gives you 90 gold. Or what's the exact amount of gold, actually? So I don't say anything stupid. Taking that romp gives you 80. 80. It gives you 80, but it denies them 80. So it's 160 diff, and killing you gives them 300. Mm. So there, it's 1k for 140 gold, you know? And that's it. There's no objective yeah. on the map, etc. So even if, yes, it's better not today, and actually my call would have been... So because you're on the Chemtech map, like, there's the plant here that, that can help you a lot, and I would be playing for that plant. Um, yeah. That's a bit specific, etc. So it's fine. But my biggest call is you should not use anything. You should not use ult, you should not use ghost, you should not use anything. Because now, when it's actually useful to create pressure... I mean, okay, ult you can use it fine, because the objective is going to spawn. But now when the objective is spawning, you, you still don't have your ghost. So that's my point. Like keep, keep your right. big cooldowns for the big objectives or for the thing that actually matters. Um, yeah. Okay, and okay, now is the moment where I ask you, okay, 
who is gonna match you, do you think? And then you say action, <laughs> and then action appears. And yeah, like against action, like you just... But I, I think you... I mean, if it was one... Like, you can actually kill him here, but their team is coming. Yeah. But the issue is that you are applying pressure prior to the objective. Like, the objective is in 130. Like, you just want people to be there, but you... Like, here you should just be running back and wait for your team to be... Like, Shivana is not even up on the map. Now she's not even up. Right. This is not the moment to die or use ult or do anything. Like, this is the moment to just... Best place to sit in that bush. Or my mouse is. Okay. Just sit and wait. And now if action goes on you... Well, if it's a 1v1, you just kill him in the 1v1 after he used E. You actually kill the action here. Do you, do, like, do you realize it? If it was a 1v1 here, it was not a 1v1. Yeah. Yeah, so he used E. Well, you just slow him and then he's like super squishy and you just 100 to 0 him. So this is fine. Um... But, but I think I missed all died. Oh, uh, maybe. Um, but if it if it's a two v one, like like if it this later one v one, you kill him. Two v one, your team does dash. So this is good only if it's later in the game. But keep it here, you actually mm. like wouldn't kill him because Velkos, Morgana, and uh, Volibear were coming. Um. Okay. And now they kill. And now it was not good to go bot. And now again. So even let's forget about this fight. Now it's not good to go bot because by the time you're pressuring this, they're not like the objective is already up. So the enemy team has the time to go for a yeah. 5v4, maybe like win that 5v4 if you're concerned about them winning the 5v4, and then reset with the Nash buff. And if, even, even if you take bot inhib, it doesn't matter. They have Nash buff, you're not gonna end the game in the next four minutes. So they're just gonna get free farm and experience. So now it's too late mm. to go bot. So what you should go and do, if you don't know what's the outcome of the fight, which you don't know yet. Just go instant mid and compensate for yeah. that mid pressure and then you will have your flash and ult and participate in that fight on Nash. It's too late to split. So you see you see the pattern how it's always the same thing that keeps happening uh, f starting in mid game is the fact that yeah. um, it's really good that you're thinking about the objective and you want to play it except that one herald at the beginning. I don't know why you didn't care about that one herald. Uh, but you have to like understand like how to do it at the best of your capacity. And sometimes it's going to be just putting one word. Sometimes it's going to be bringing someone and diving him and killing him. Sometimes it's going to be bringing someone and if you cannot dive him, rotating. Sometimes it's going to be going mid actually. Sometimes it's going to be team fighting because it's too late for you to apply pressure. Um, so you need to keep your options open. It's okay to split a lot with Trin. I split a shit ton of with Trin. Like I'm a really big splitter. But sometimes when yeah. it's not the best thing to do, well, I'm not splitting. Sometimes I, like, you will have to team fight. So here I really like that you go on that Nash. I think the whole team should have went on that Nash, but the team is not going, so you're just going by yourself. And now again, you see, so now you are playing pressure, but that's that's a four, 5v4 here, if they if they yeah. actually wanted to play it. So because your team is so ahead, it doesn't matter. But I want you to take that for like other games, you know? And other games are going to be more even, or even your team is behind. And then it's going to be bad because they can play the 5v4, yeah. reset, and defend. So here, what you want to do from the base is go instant. Okay, the Drake is spawning 12, 10. You sprint to the Drake. Sprint, 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 sprint. And then you play the 5v5, which, which you're winning, by the way. But here, mm. you're actually giving your enemies a chance to come back by playing a 5v4. Yeah. Okay, yeah. And now, I mean, this, this was a bit of an emotional play, no? Like, you said, I want to <laughs> dive him because, I don't know, because <laughs> what? Maybe you got mad at, and then and then <laughs> we ended up leaving. But I mean, it, it ended up being a decent play, but it, like, it's, it's, it's actually really good, like, your life or two guys, like, at that time. But it's only because he didn't cancel his E. Like, here he could just E back. And, <laughs> yeah. and, 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 and I don't know, like, but, but I mean... Okay, I mean you, you. I mean you know it. You can see it. But now the biggest issue I have is that you don't stay here. It's only two of them up. Right. Your whole team is coming. You're like they're gonna end. Well, help them ending. Because if they're gonna end and you're just in basic, it's like you are here dancing. It's like you are AFK. So so help them get that plant. Get like almost like mid HP, uh, and then maybe push that bot. And they yeah, are the only issue is Velcos and Volibear will just space them. You know, just stay out of Velcos range and Volibear's range. And you're fine, and you just buff yeah. minions, and you wait, you wait for your time. Um, because here the team actually just ends the game. Yeah. Okay, 
and you're not on the photo finish. Yeah. Okay, okay, so that's it. That is for my uh, VOD review. So did that bring any question on your side regarding this game or par in particular or the game in general? So you would say like my my most biggest error is usually um, like bad time management for uh, objectives or just not considering what I can be doing. I think pre-15 is uh, not being obsessed about like your, the cannon waves rotations and the time you actually have to make something happen. Mid, uh, mid to late game, it's um, how to actually like find the best way to impact that objective that you want to get. And that's about it. And as I said, like the rest of it, you're doing it pretty decently. Um, the skirmishing, the fightings, the 1v1s, like they, there is nothing crazy, nothing crazy that I've seen. Uh, emotionally, etc. Like, I mean, the, the, it was easy to not get tilted in that game, by the way. Uh, but still, like, nothing crazy that I've seen, but early game, like, your timings on those, um, uh, on the waves, etc. Like, understanding what's a good base, what's a bad base, what's a good fight to take, what's a bad fight to take, and just putting, like, making the wave work for you. Basically, I'm going to call it this way. Making the wave work for you. Uh, and then later, yeah. it's going to be, yeah, like, uh, yeah, doing the best that you ch your champion can do for a particular objective. Uh, with the whole question of the timers, like, will I bring someone? Can I dive him, etc. Like, uh, yeah, that that will be like the two biggest mistakes, and then all the like small things we talked about. But uh, like most of them, like 80, 90 percent of them, just go in those two categories, basically. Also, oh. we could add like uh, not using your um, your cooldowns or abilities before the the big fight timers. You know, sometimes it's better yeah. to die with your flash up, so you have it for a big fight rather than not dying and then using your flash. And then you don't have it for the big fight. Right. So I have another question. If you said, because mm -hmm. in the beginning you said Trin mid is better than top, but you play him top, right? Mm -hmm. So why do you play him top instead of mid? <laughs> because I, 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 because like it's 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 kind of like why do I play Trin? You know, like Trin is a shit shit champion in the current meta. You know, because yeah. I like it. <laughs> so it's just like uh, I like top better preference. yeah it's just a preference I like top better I like how long the lane is I like how I just like like how the top lane works in general and when I play mid I, bro, like even when I play jungle even when I play trin jungle I keep saying bro this role is broken this is too easy etc <laughs> but I don't like it as much so that's that's I play I, I did my homework though I played my uh, like 100 games of trin mid just to make sure that I understand it and understand like why people do it, but I still don't like it as much. Just yeah, preference. Okay. Okay. At level one, I yeah. Sorry. Yeah, level one, I just I should just um look to e them immediately off cooldown, right? Into like yeah. most matchup, like almost like like almost all every matchup, like you're gonna out sustain them. Like it's very rare to have a mid laner. Like a real mid lane champion that has actually sustain when you think about yeah. it. Uh they have really like mana and health issues. So you just like E like E on C D uh and you're just gonna win by default because they don't have ways of sustaining long term. Basically. And then you get the level two advantage by doing that as well. Uh because you're pushing the wave, you're getting prior. And then with the level two, you can make plays. So if you can crash the second wave, like you can, as I said, like ward uh, raptors is one of the best thing you can do uh, as a mid laner early if you have the push, or you can like of course set it bounce back to you and then hold the freeze call for your jungler, or you can try to keep pressuring on 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 wave three and then help on scuttle. Like you have so many options, but yeah, Trindamir mid is is pretty oppressive. Like people don't like to play against Trindamir mid for that reason. Yeah. And then once you have Iron Spec Whip, I think, yeah, like you should also be a bit like obsessed about like your Iron Spec Whip back um, or Tiamat back if at some point we go back to a Ravenous Hydra meta uh, because like it enables you so much by like, just instant clearing the waves and then gives you so much time. 
Is Hydra good on Trend or no? Because I see some people building that. Oh, I think uh, so. For pure pushing purposes, Hydra is better than Threadbreaker. Now, Threadbreaker is generally like I understand it now. Like it's generally better because it gives you both uh, pushing power, but also like fighting power. Uh, it helps you catch on squishes. Yeah. It's still decent damage. Uh, but for pure pushing purposes, Hydra is better. And I, I often do it top when I'm playing against like, um, like someone who's going to poke me, like a cannon, a Teemo. Uh, I also like to do it with the, like, like whenever I can afford to do it, I like to do it as an item. I think it's a, it's a really, really good item. And I have another question about like, say this game went longer. What, what do you think should have been my final item? Because I usually don't know what to build after like these, these core items so let's see After, you have stride like you have items. er by the way i'm just gonna tell you there's saikunju in my chat saikunju is uh he reached a masters uh at the end of the last split playing trinomir um uh, i think decent amount of mid but also he plays it with stride breaker because i don't play stride breaker personally and he said mm. that not the biggest fan of essence river it got nerfed especially for oh. Trint. personally I think kraken is better second item here after straight I'm just telling you what he thinks. That's Again, right. I don't play this build, so I'm just telling you what he thinks, you know. Um, mm. Okay, so here you went. Uh, Serilda, Straightbreaker, uh, PD. Oh, okay. Uh, so you are going PD, right? So I would go for either... Um, either a crit item, but you don't have that many good crit options now. Uh, I would probably go for Borg, actually. Uh, either Borg or like it depends what you're doing. If you're splitting, I would go for Holebreaker last. Um, oh. If you're not splitting, if you're team fighting, uh, if you're hitting like Volibear, for example, I, I would go for Borg. If you're hitting the squishes, I would go for I don't know what gives you the most damage at that point. Um, I would maybe go even for uh, BT. BT is actually pretty good as the last item on Twin Um like something that has crit because you don't have that much crit in your build. Like it's only the essence river and the PD. Yeah. So what does like you yeah, what what gives you crit so you have 100 percent crit when you get into a fight and and doesn't give you useless stats? Uh because you went Serilda, so you cannot go mortal reminder at that point. Yeah. Mm, maybe maybe I could go QSS also if I'm concerned about Volibear and and, and Morgana, uh, maybe if you're facing, like, like you see how I'm, how I'm thinking about it? Like, it depends, like, yeah. if the game goes longer, like, what is actually going to be your mission, you know? What's actually going to be your role as a champion to make your team break the Nexus? And if it's sidelining, I think Hullbreaker is pretty good, actually. Um, oh, yeah. Other than that, yeah, I would go for crits if you're team fighting, because you don't have, like, 100% crit, which feels, like, pretty stiff. That's why I don't like Stride Baker. Like you're dealing your yeah, your your, cr your crit so much actually. So here by three items you yeah. had only like one crit item. Um, but it's just me, like just a preference. Like as long as you play your build to the best of its capacity, you can build so many things on Trint. Uh, but yeah, so you see at least how I'm thinking about it. Like I don't know because the game didn't get longer, so I don't know what your role will be. I think right now yeah. for how you were playing, it was decent. Everything that, that you did. Maybe I would not even finish PD and just be happy to sit on the zeal for the extra movement speed. And they buy, buy something else. Maybe you can even buy, I don't know, Black Cleaver if you feel like you're hitting a Volibear and he's getting a lot of armor. Yeah, it depends on who you're hitting, basically. Maybe Zonias can actually be decent on Trend to bait things and, and, yeah. and give time for your team. Because you want to give resets for, your, for Jinx. Um, so giving time for your team is also not bad. Yeah, like, like you have so many options. And you actually have so many options because nothing is good. <laughs> like it's not, it's not because everything is good. It's because everything is so bad that you have so many options. <laughs> but yeah. And what do you think about Soraldas? You think it's it's a good item because it doesn't give crit, but it it has a. I like the passive and the ability haste. Yeah, I mean it's again like 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 you just ask yourself like. Am I having a hard time sticking on my opponents to the point where I'd rather have a Serilda? Or am I having a hard time with their healing to the point I'd rather have a Mortal Reminder? Maybe actually it was a bad call by me to go Serilda because you asked me between PD and Serilda. 
And maybe the good answer was actually uh, Mortal Reminder. Um, even if they don't have that much healing, I mean, Volibear has a lot of healing. Action has some, some healing. But even if they don't have the most healing in the game, like just the fact that you have crit and armor pen makes it such a good item, uh, actually. Um, just the stats that it gives. Like even into like some comps that have zero healing, sometimes Mortal Reminder is good. So it's all about what you need. So because you have straight Baker, maybe Serida is a bit overkill when I think about it, because you already can stick on your opponent. So maybe you don't need that extra slow. So maybe the crit is better to reset your E. Um, but Serida is an item, I really like it. But usually I go Serida when, once I go Kraken, Navori, Serida, PD. That way I have 100% crit, I have the slow, I have armor pen, and then I'm happy. So I like Serid as an and do item. Do you use that build? Oh, okay. Do I what? Do you use that build like... Is that like usually what you build like Navori, Kraken? Like that's your go-to build? For me, I mean, I can show you exactly. So there's no like uh, guessing it. We're, we can see like what I'm building. I think I have tr three builds basically and I try to build whatever fits the best. So I into Jax, for example, I go Kraken, Navori because I can snowball on the guy. I can look to beat him. Against Warwick, Early Executioners, uh, Kraken Navori. Uh, here against Darius, Kraken Holebreaker, actually. I like to have an early Holebreaker against Darius. This way he can he cannot make you use ult with just like one spell rotation and one ult. Uh, and it's actually pretty good. Here I went Hydra, Kraken, Triforce. So Hydra first into Zed because Zed is going Hydra. So I want to match his sustain and sustain myself. Uh, Hydra second this way against an assassin, uh, Holebreaker second. It's really good into assassins to have a Holebreaker. This way with one spell rotation he doesn't kill me. And then third Triforce because with Holebreaker and Triforce and Demolish, I can just ignore the Zed and just take a turret even like under his eyes. Here into Skarner I went Grasp. Because Skarner you don't win the long trades, you cannot even long trade. Uh, Grasp, um, uh, Holebreaker first. Try for second and then Mortal Reminder third, not even for the healing, I mean, even if they had healing, for the crit and, and armor pen. I have to take the call, as I told you. Uh, give me a sec. Uh, no worries. Hmm, they're saying that they actually knew that there were issues and now it's fixed, but they didn't know two days ago, so I don't know, we'll see. Okay. No. Uh but but yeah, so and then I'm gonna finish with sometimes I even go gay force, not often, uh, but I will show you what I see as a gay force angle. Um it's gonna happen eventually. Maybe I missed it already. Here, Gale Force, for example, because I was snowballing, I was stomping so hard. So Gale Force is really good to like uh, extend the snowball uh, into Riven also that can kite me. 
and the rest of them were decently squishy. And then when I'm playing into full, full squishies, I might go Gale Force also uh, early on. So yeah, those are my builds. I know that there's only one build that I haven't tried, which is a straight breaker build. Like that's the only thing that's missing mm -hmm. to, in my arsenal. So I don't know much about it, yeah. but but I guess like it has to be like decent if people are doing it. Um, but yeah, because yeah, I, I often have like. Sorry. No, no, you go, you go. Yeah, like I often have this problem. Is like I build the same stuff every game. Oh, okay, that's really an issue. Thinking of what to build. Yeah, like yeah. like you have to think like about like what does it actually give me. Like, for example, I remember one time yeah. where I was falling behind uh, Darius, and by the time I had Kraken Slayer, he had uh, Stride Breaker or Gore Drinker, I don't know what they build, like Stride, most likely. He had Stride and uh, Wardens. And then I was like, okay, what does yeah. Kraken give me? Am I allowed to kill Gar Darius now because I have Kraken? Well, no. Uh, can I survive Darius going on me? No. So what does Kraken give me? nothing okay let's think about yeah. another item hydra can i kill darius no can i at least like clear ways forever and then get all the cs or even proxy yes that's something that i cannot do with kraken hydra could be better and then i think about holebreaker can i kill darius no well this doesn't change can i like get killed by darius not even not even because oh, he has is a straight breaker. So even if he's straight breakers, he is auto W Q auto ult. I can still just press Q and not use my ult and live because I have a hole breaker. And then I was like, shit, I should have built mm -hmm. hole breaker because that way, if he even leaves the the lane, imagine he leaves the lane and he goes team fight and I have Kraken. What does it get me? Faster push. I mean, Hydra gives a better push and hole breaker gives a better push. Not not a faster push, but it allows me to get to get turrets. So then I was like, shit, I shouldn't have built my Kraken. At the beginning of the game, I was like, I should go Kraken into Darius. But now that I'm falling behind, it's not going to do me any favor. So now I need to build something that's going to help me to do what I need to do, which is either like clearing waves, defending, surviving, getting turrets, getting objectives. So yeah, it's it's a qu constant question. It's a constant like, like mm -hmm. I, I, one of the games that, one of the favorite games that I've uploaded to YouTube is, is a very old one, where at the end of the game, I actually build Spirit Visage on Trint. And it's the one time in 2000 oh. games that I built Spirit Visage. But why did I do it? Because in my team, I had a Soraka, I had a Janna, and in their team, they had a Karthus who was fed. So it's both magic resist plus extra healing and shielding from my team. And and they couldn't yeah. kill me. Because in that particular situation, Spirit Visage was the absolute best item I could buy. So you need to start like questioning like even if you do like one build that sounds good into everything like okay why does ranger do it what does ranger see that i'm not seeing and then you just see it and sometimes because now i'm to the point where sometimes ranger does something and then i'm like nah he's doing it because he's smurfing like, it's not actually good and then he goes on his main account and he's not doing the same build and and i can finally see it like until last year i wasn't able to see it and i was like oh if he does that and he's a better player he's right to do it you know but yeah. but yeah you need to keep your mind open i'm sure you're a smart person and you can like try to find the reasons behind something or some uh, another thing and i think you can still build so many things as long as you play them to the best of their capacity you're gonna get away with it like like i don't know if you know lure low People talk to me, uh, talk to me about Lorlo. He's a content creator. He plays in in high chat lobbies and he plays like AP action or like he plays like random yeah. shit. But he plays them how they're supposed to be played, and he still wins games because he just yeah does the most of his tool, which is champion. Even if his his tool is, feels like a bit different or unnatural, well, he takes the best from it. So yeah, that's what you need to be yeah. like working towards. Of course, it's not going to happen on your next game. Yeah, slowly but surely. Exactly. Slowly but surely. Any other question? Any other thing you want to discuss? I think that's it. I'm trying to think back to the game. Other stuff. You think generally I was doing like the cor uh not the correct decision but like my ideas were correct but i was just executing them wrong um 
I don't know if we can call the ideas correct. Like, the, the idea of applying pressure somewhere else of the objective uh, is, of course, the yeah. right idea. That's that's how you split push. That's how Trinomere is built. But now, I don't know if it's yeah. the ex execution that's wrong or the idea that's not, like, perfect because the idea will be, like, I need to apply my pressure at the time my team is in a position to apply the pressure as well. And now at the time where the enemy team would have already applied their pressure. You, you, you see what I mean, like... So, but but generally, yeah. as 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 I said, like it's not like you have six, seven big things to work on. Like, of course, everything could be bettered. Of course, like you have could have better yeah. spacing, better laning, better everything. But like the things that, bro, like if you work on these things and manage to fix them, like you're gonna see so much results. Like the game are gonna feel like so much easier, I think, because because it keeps happening again and again, like the the mm. same mistakes. So if if I saw them on one game. And it was a winning game, so I can't imagine out of a hundred games how many times it happens that you're not at the right time, at the right place, or you're not like backing on the right ways or things like that. So yeah, okay. so I think it's really encouraging. It's usually harder to make progress than just fixing a few things, like two things. Yeah, I think this is this is very valuable. I think I learned a lot and try to apply these to my future games will definitely improve yeah hopefully improve. hopefully hopefully i was able to convince you that that these were like important parts uh of the game and your gameplay well if you have no more questions well we're getting to a point where i'm asking my questions i mean i have only two of them uh the first one would be um like of course i'm trying to make you guys better but i'm trying to make myself better at playing and that coaching yeah. also so if you can tell me like the good things that i've been doing during this session so i can keep doing those but also if i've been doing anything bad please let me know so i can work on them yeah i really like how um you took notes can you send me those notes too oh yeah by the way i will also upload the, the video yeah. so you can go back to the coaching all right yeah i like how i like how like you focus more on the, I don't know, I've never had coaching before, but it seems like some stuff, just like, I don't know how to explain it. Say like, I, I, I executed a fight badly, but it wasn't really too important to the big picture, but you focus on the stuff that, um, the mostly the stuff that I can 100% uh, control, like the wave stuff and the objective stuff that helps me know like where i can easily improve because like there's some parts where it's hard to improve like i don't know dodging skill shots or mm. or um reflex time but those wave those wave, tips about wave management and uh, objectives those are things that you can concretely improve on and uh, identify hey yeah, I try, yeah, I try to focus on like the the other things are gonna come with time, like the mechanics, the hand that yeah, they just come with experience. So I cannot do much about it. Okay, anything negative, or could that could be improved? Um, you don't have to have something, but if you have something, I I, I would like to hear. Trying to think. Maybe for the VOD review, maybe like because I ah. Uh, uh... I watch Nice sometimes. I don't know if he's that good, <laughs> but uh, I like how he uses like the pen. Mm. I don't know. Bro, like the the coaching like, just mark. before you, Koho told me to use the pen. So, and I tried to oh. download it be between the two coachings, but I didn't manage to <laughs> do it. Uh, okay, so I would try. That's the next thing I'm going to do. Like, before I, I go eat, I would download the pen and then I will use it for sure. Yeah, that's. Yeah. That's a good thing. I think it's pretty useful because, like, you just, like, circle so you know like exact yeah oh yeah completely yeah um i think that's pretty much it. i, I think it's very good at because before i was like i don't know how much a how much a coaching could help me mm. yeah i think if someone is coachable it can help a lot and you are coachable so thank you for that as well um okay and then my very last question is is like i'm trying to benchmark a bit to see like uh, because of course, like I am not gonna I'm do only free coaches in my life. It's my end, but keep cutting out. Sorry, oh, it keeps cutting out. 
Oh, wait, it might be me. Can you, can, can you hear me? Is, is the stream working? Or is it F? Let me check. Um, it might be me. It should make me very sad. Okay, it doesn't seem to be me. It's working, working, sir. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Okay, okay. Well, maybe just cut for uh, for Jackie. Which is fine. It's right, like I'd rather have it cut right now than cut. Um... I think it's me. Oh, okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah, it's 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 probably uh, it's probably you. I mean, it's fine because like we're getting to the end of it. Test, so test, test, test. Yes. Um. Hold if on, I'm gonna. It's not working. It's fine. We were getting to the end of it. Just gonna ask if. Uh, what would you think would be a fair price for this kind of session? I wish you luck and a great day and maybe also Promote my socials, eh. and then I promote my socials, and then we would have done everything. Um, I mean, do I want to send everything though? I think it's. Oh, I can hear you. Oh, you can hear me now. I don't know. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> is is it clear now? Is it working? Fair price for the session. I mean, I think, like, I don't know if you're just starting out, right? So I don't know if it's, you know, I have that many clients, but I would, I would say $100. $100? Okay, yeah, that's going to take the average uh, up. Okay, I like that. Um... Oh. Okay, it's Hopefully I didn't make it more expensive for everybody. <laughs> No, no, don't worry. Some people made it really cheap. Some people made it really cheap. But you know, oh. like how they say that the 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 mass always is right. You know, so of course, like the extremes are gonna cancel yeah. out, and then the average is gonna it's gonna pop out. So, so no, no, you you're you're all good. You're all set. Um, okay. Well, and then the very last thing is, of course, like I have a secret agenda with this. So I was gonna promote my socials. If you haven't seen them already, yeah. uh, at least the Twitch and YouTube channel. So we just dro drop them in our conversation. And then if you feel like you could get value from them, you can drop a follow or something. And, and if not, it's 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 more than okay. You being coachable was all already really nice. Um, okay. Course, well, uh, that was that was all for me. So if it's good for me, it's, it's, if it's good for you, it's good for me. Uh, well, good luck and have fun for your games and your climate and for you your life as well for sure and i will see you next time jackie you. Welcome, merci, bro. merci beaucoup <laughs> de rien de rien de rien <laughs> au revoir au revoir au revoir <laughs> ah that's so nice people like dropping a few french words <laughs>